Greetings, folks. Welcome. It's the 7th of May. <clears throat> I've been out here in the in my kiln shed doing what potters do. <laughs> Build kilns. I'm in the I'm in the process of converting this electric kiln, which, as far as I know, works as an electric kiln, but. Uh, I'm not really interested in using it as an electric kiln. So I've bitten the bullet. I've decided I'm going to attack it. So I just thought I'd give you a progress report where I'm at with it so far. So let's do it. Welcome to my mess. Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's a messy business when you get involved in carp carving out a kiln. The first thing, the first problem I had was that the 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 lid here was was cracked in t right across, so it was in two pieces. And also the um, also the the little the clasp affair here uh, these two tensioners the ones that were on completely rotted out so I went up to my local store bought uh, some more ones of those and put them on so that was done I cemented the lid yeah then we done re a reasonable a reasonable a reasonable job of it um, so I done that then and then what I did was I proceeded to it's going to be fired with one of these burners um so I had to cut away the the grind away the, the, the metal sheath here on the outside. Actually it would be a good idea, probably I should take a file to that, because that has got some real real sharp edges on it. And then I utilized this guy. Comes I got a bigger one than that. It didn't go as big as the hole, and then I had to, I had to cut through. Yeah, you can see some of the tools that you might need if you do this kind of thing. I use one of these, and <clears throat> basically, you've just got to cut it and um, and file it. I've got a round file somewhere. Yeah, up here. One of these, so it's a case of this. This this material is very very easy to, you know, this stuff is like, you know, it's just soft. So, so basically, the design is the burner is going to come in here. Here, it's going to be held about in that position like that it's not going to be put inside we don't want that because it'll get too hot it'll be put round about there about half an inch out just to you want to do that make sure you allow some space here around the burner and pull the burner a little bit out so you get some secondary air in around the burner um, then what I did was, actually, right now I'm in the process of, you can basically, there's, there's different ways you can convert a kiln like this. <clears throat> People write to me about this. Somebody's just writ written to me, actually. And uh, they had a slightly different design. But, um, so you can have the burner going in like I've got it at the side, or you can have the burner coming in pointing upwards. You've got to then figure out, the configure the, the the inside of the kiln and the flame pathways this is a sketch I did actually I did this for this guy but I'll show it to you as would as it's on topic so to speak so there you have it there you see this was a suggestion that I gave for him it allows you to utilize some of the more of the floor space um, basically the burner coming in going up to the top hitting the target brick or the deflector brick the angled brick at the top there and then the the flames 
going through the pots and then down to the very bottom left corner there and then up out the chimney. And it's very simple to make a sketch like that but it's not so simple <laughs> when you're looking at your kiln and sort of thinking whoa how, how do we work that? I had a kiln actually like this, this style, this type but it was not a round kiln, it, it, was, it was rectangular, it was square. So this is actually the way I'm doing it, is the simplest way of doing, doing it. Put the burner in straight. So when you, cut your, when you cut your hole down there, you've got to determine the thickness, obviously, of the, of the brick, the base, the floor of the kiln, before you cut your hole. And um, so let me just show you how basically this works. So the, the, the flame is going to come in underneath underneath this underneath this shelf now this shelf is is cracked as you can see it's the only one I got you know I got it so I can only use what I've got <laughs> so I'm gonna use a cracked shelf um, let me just see if I can remove this piece carefully just put that up there for now so yeah, so the flame is going to come out through here in this direction. It's going to then hit these this target brick, which are basically an angled brick, which is then going to deflect the flame upwards here. You see? Um, I had to cut this as an old shelf that I had. I had so I just had to cut off the corners to get it to go into the to fit into the form of this shape. I'm now in the process of cutting the, the what's going to be the chimney. To do that I just utilized old bricks that I had here. I got a bunch of these pieces, you know. So basically I just cut some some slithers of one of these. Let's have a drink of tea. Enough talk, leech. Drink tea. Ah, that's better. Wet the whistle. So yeah, so I, I've I've been been cutting these carefully. It's very easy to to crack these bricks when you when you're when you're in the process of cutting them. So I've managed to do it there. So I've got. In this case, so I'm going to build the chimney here, you see. It's the same, start, the same idea as that one there. You see the, the chimney on the side there, on the inside wall. So we're going to build the kiln, the chimney in the kiln, within the kiln here. So when this, let me just put this, put this guy back. Yeah, so I've got the... Actually, I should show you. Just show you how I've done this. I'm, now, this is not final. This is just sort of like a. So I had these little these little props. Now I'm hoping they're going to be good for cone ten. I am hoping. I actually wanted to just move these out a little bit I think something like that maybe yes this is a quite a hard shelf it's one of these carborundum type shelves yeah wear a gas mask when you do this <laughs> So you're going to put that there, rest it on the props. Now because I've got this, this crack shelf, crack shelf is going to rest on half of that, you see. Whoa, flying by the seat of your pants. Oops. I'm going to get the shop back in here before I... And I'm just, you know, just getting this set up. I just wanted you to see the... So this... This bit of the broken shelf has got like a tripod. It's just got three legs. 
which is which is it's okay actually because it it, um, it it um it balances quite well on three legs it doesn't on four <laughs> okay so you can see there the the target bricks so the flame is going to come in hit the target bricks and then it's going to go upwards let's put that back like that I've got a little piece of target brick as well just down the side here a little piece of angle brick down there and I'm going to put another piece down there so yes now what I've what I've got to do is build this build this this chimney all the way up here you see so that's my next job so you can see there's a cutout in the bottom of that brick here so the gases are going to come all the way up here going to cross over down through the pots down through the pots down through the wares and then they're going to find their way in under there and then they're going to come up here then when I shut the lid here what I'm going to have to do going to have to to match the hole that's in the top here for the, ch the chimney flue to a hole that I'm going to have to cut out here all the way through the lid yeah you know like I did with the like I did with the other one like this one you see it's not that complicated to do is it really uh, it's just a, ca a case of a little bit of careful marking um, and then we are good to go <laughs> anyway just thought I'd show you um, I think I'm probably going to use this weed burner I showed it to you in the last clip didn't I yes I did that guy so what I want to do is and then I want to put out here on the bench all the tools that I've used to do this because I want to encourage other people to have a go at converting a gas kiln look I'm even leaving everything on everything is here you know all the wiring is all wired up I did have to cut because at the, through here was running on some elements you know so I had to I had to I had to cut these element wires out so yeah it, it'll it, it could be conceivably put back to be running as a, a an electric kiln again one day not that I envisage doing that but um, so I've done sort of minimal minimal butchering to the kiln really um just gonna leave leave all this here and leave the cable there you know in case we we could we could have an electric firing as an and a gas firing coming at the same time <laughs> that would be fun and games i don't think so i did contemplate something i did contemplate doing is putting a small a small place to introduce some sticks of wood in the side you know First things first, Simon, I think, is the name of the game. I try and do too many things. Just just get it working as a gas kiln to start with. Just a regular good old gas kiln, and then we'll go from there. So, yeah, we are sacrificing some of the kiln space because of having the, the you know, having to have a shelf there and the flame coming in underneath the shelf like that. But... Um, I can't see any reason why it shouldn't work perfectly well. Anyway, um, we're going to give you a a progress report. I got to get on, do that chimney, cut that hole in the lid. When I've done all that and it's all it's all that's all done, then we can think about putting some pots in there and having a firing. So. Yes, yeah, I want to do lay out all the tools 
And then what I've done with this, using the same camera that's filming this, I've done, I've photographed every step of the way. It's all been photographed. And that then will be, I'm going to put it on a PDF, and it will be available on my website. If anybody's interested, they may have to part with a little money for the PDF, but such is life, but you know what I mean. I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to also Well, I'm doing a video, so that's going up anyway. So, Hey, thanks for, for tuning in, folks. Go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Check that out. We've got some pots up there. I've still got a load of pots over there in the corner. You know, from that firing that we just had, you saw the pots. I've had a load of people writing in, wanting pots, which has been very encouraging. I suppose it's nice, isn't it, to see pots made from A to Z or A to Z and uh, and then see them come out of the kiln and uh, so you sort of feel a little bit more it's a little bit more interactive isn't it which is which is nice so yes yeah go there check out the website check out pots if you need any tools if you want me to come and teach a workshop in your hometown in your city in your Wherever you hang out, wherever you make pots, your local get together with other other potters, then give tell whoever runs your workshop to give me a shout, and we can go come and do a workshop. Talk about making kilns and raw glazing and making pots. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, folks. Keep practicing as always. I'll see you. I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye now.